Doug Levi in the house, Strategic Insurance. 2020, here we yes, are. Sir, man. That's right. So kind of on a state of the union, if you will, and what's going on in the marketplace, we're talking a little at the break. One of the things we're seeing is rates are increasing across the board. Oh, wow. So even more important, I think, out there to get the message out is when's the last time you've really reviewed your insurance? Uh, we're seeing different homeowners, carriers, especially having rate increases anywhere from 12 to 15 wow. percent. Now, at our agency, we have a process in place where we go and we actually do the market comparison for you. We've got over 18 carriers, and our whole goal is to find you the best coverage and the best rates each year. You can think of us as your insurance quarterback almost. Like and it. Uh, Yeah, there you go. And um, so it's just important. If you haven't done a protection review or haven't looked at your insurance in a while, it's probably a good time to do so. And really what I've told clients just talking through it is, you know, you think we've had hurricanes the last probably three out of five years between Irma and Michael. And now we're starting to see some of these things, I think, hit, if you will, where some of the rates are starting to catch up. Uh, and it's just it's important to get your eyes on it. We want to make sure people are winning in every area as we talk and consumer finance and insurance is certainly a big expense. So uh, they te- you know people can feel free to reach out to us, tampabayinsurance.com. We'd love to, to help them out and do a review for them. TampaBayInsurance.com, Doug Levi here in studio, mm-hmm. Strategic Insurance Services. So it seems like since the rates are just now increasing, it's something that these, is it like the actuaries, like they're looking to see, yeah. okay, what did we pay out? What's our return? So, it, you know, not to bore, bore the public out there, but just, you know, view from 30,000 feet real quick is uh, insurance companies buy insurance. Think about that, right? So the insurance yes. companies buy insurance. It's called reinsurance, and that's a global marketplace, right? So... Uh, basically, a lot of a lot of this can be driven by reinsurance rates starting to go up, and it all's you know a lot of it's due to natural disasters, hurricanes, things like that. So, uh, I I tell people, look, I can't predict what your rates are going to be next year, this year, five years from now. But what I want to teach you is how to have a process in place mm-hmm. so that we help you win each year. Yeah. Right, so that we can do the review for you, we can do the heavy lifting for you, and we'll come back to you and say, "Hey, we're recommending switching from you know company A to company B, saving you money as opposed to going with the the renewal over the rate increase." Mm-hmm. And uh, you know that that's just our philosophy as an agency. I think it's important for people uh, to think about. My book, I wrote Surviving the Insurance Jungle, research shows that average Floridian spends $5,600 a year on their home and auto insurance. Wow. You think about the average family that's got a home that they own, and if they've got two cars, the average family spends about $5,600 a year. That's that's not insignificant. So we want to make sure we're maximizing and get you, getting you best rates, best coverage year after year. Yeah, best rates, best coverage. And that is kind of a play as well when you look at how much are they willing to submit a claim for right sure. so if you have a $500 deductible mm-hmm. versus a thousand what's what's your yeah, each I mean, family's I, a little ab- different absolutely but. you know i try and just take a real real practical approach with people number one i'm a big believer on higher deductibles the higher the deductible the lower your premium right yeah. that's just like insurance 101 principal 101 and again a very practical takeaway anyone listening out there get a look at your auto get a look at your homeowners even if you didn't want to do anything other than just raise the deductible it's going to save you some money likely now i always like to see well how much is it saving me right if i go from a let's say a 500 to a thousand dollar comp deductible and it's only saving me 10 bucks every six months yeah that may not make as much sense but a lot of times on the homeowners you'll see pretty big savings going certainly from a 500 to a thousand or a thousand to a 2500 yeah all other peril deductible uh i think kind of what you were also asking brandon in terms of well, you know, do I file that fifteen hundred dollar claim? I, I normally recommend against that. Right. You know, the carriers. There's no doubt. The more claims you file, uh, the, the more that that's going to cause rates to go up, and then potentially, you know, to, to look at even non renewing you. So, you know, we just try to take a practical approach. We want to treat each person, each situation, uh, you know, with the care that it deserves. Uh, yeah. And then we walk our clients through the claims process. We're there in the event of a claim when something goes wrong. Uh, we walk them through it. We follow up. We do weekly follow-up to see how the claim's going and when we need to get involved we do yeah yeah doug mm-hmm. levi here in studio i'm brandon rhymes i'm your host the consumer quarterback show so when you look at the real estate business as well so the real estate's popping there's a lot of deals happening yeah. um, you know you got the different uh issues when it comes to flood you know one of the things people mm-hmm. consider is flood and you've mentioned on the show there's there are private uh investors mm-hmm. now there's private opportunities and that's really helped a lot of the waterfront properties absolutely there's no doubt there's more options than ever before with flood insurance uh, that market's changed a lot over the years. If you're in a flood zone and have flood insurance, definitely something to look at. 
again, you could reach out to us, make sure, are you getting the best rate and option? Uh, and a lot of times we're able to shop and help people save money. You yeah. know? Um, so the other thing to take in mind, too, with the flood insurance is if you get what's known as an elevation certificate, if you're in a flood zone, there's a specific inspection that's done by an engineer that kind of looks at your property and benchmarks it and you know with what the flood zone is and all that. And I want again not not to get into specifics on all that, but uh, sometimes it can be a good idea to even get one of those or have one of those updated and compare yeah. and say does this now help get me in a better spot than what I currently had. Right. You know, so all yeah, those things Go ahead. Uh, well, an elevation. What I was going to say is that the elevation certificate. A lot of times, people, you know, the proximity to water. That's mm-hmm. one, but it's also how high elevated is your house yeah. pad? Because that's when the rising water is going to enter the home. There's no doubt. There's so, no doubt. And we've had clients just recently who we looked at an elevation certificate, and they were two feet above flood. Yep. And that actually helped save them money over what they were currently paying because they actually had a policy where they did not have an elevation certificate on file. Mm. We were able to have them get an elevation certificate. We were actually able to track it down from the builder. Nice. And we were able to help out with that. So, that you know, again, we just love those real world wins. We're able yeah. to just kind of help navigate through. We get it. Listen, I tell right. people all the time, it's I do this every day and it still can be confusing and complicated and, and yeah. expensive. So, we, you know, we want to come alongside the, uh, you know, the public out there the families and business owners and just help them get good coverage and good rates and make recommendations that are going to be a win for them and their families. And it's such an ease to work with you and your team. We've worked together and thanks for your help on our home and and some of our real estate deals that we've done. You know, you jumped on the phone with FEMA in some cases, you know, hey, here's what we're looking at, Mm -hmm. you know, to come in and quickly analyze the situation, get to the end result of, you know, do we need flood? What's the policy going to be? How can we save money? Can we, can we shop this rate? Can we get a better rate? Maybe raise the deductible like we talked about. So we want you reaching out to Doug Levi Strategic Insurance. If you want to get a review, we'd love this. is a great time of year to do that. Uh, just simply text the word review or insurance to 813-670-7372. Text insurance review or review to 813-670-7372. And if you're not a texter, you can call and leave a voicemail. Uh, my promise is to get back to you before our head hits the pillow. And also submit an email at consumerqb.com. Yeah consumerqb.com. You can see links there to all of our expert contributors. Doug's contact information is certainly on that website as well. Consumerqb.com. All right, Doug Levi, thanks so much. Coming up next, Anthony Ornella. More from Doug coming up in the show as well uh, in our lightning round. All right, here we go. Top tips, nuggets of advice, parting words of wisdom. Doug Levi, Strategic Insurance. Zig Ziglar's got a great line. He says, you can have everything in life that you want if you help enough other people get what they want. And that's, I know the heart of this show is helping other people win. So a great way for people to start winning in their insurance is do a review. Make sure, are you getting the best rates you can out there? Do you have the coverage that you need? Uh, Feel free. Check us out, tampabayinsurance.com. We'd love to help uh, all the listeners out there. Yeah, awesome. Love it. tampabayinsurance.com. Check them out online. Anthony Ornella. All right, all right. So, election time. It's coming around the corner here. What that means doesn't care. I don't care who you're rooting for. I don't care what your affiliations are. Uh, it's going to be a volatile time. It always is. Yeah. And no one can predict the market, uh, but change is the only constant, right? That's so right. It doesn't matter who gets elected. There is either going to be uh, there's going to be some certain volatility coming down the pipeline. So what's that mean for you? If you're currently heavily invested in the equity markets, it's time for you to take a look at some more balanced funds or a uh, wild hair idea. Go after something that is either not tied to the stock market. There's a lot of uh, different investments and different assets that do not correlate at all with stock price, which is a very, very valuable tool at this time of year. Um, and negative correlations as well. So if you are just, if you're leaning heavy one way or the other, uh, mix it up. Diversify protects against volatility. So uh, it's going to be a volatile, uh, volatile January, I imagine. We've had too much good market to not have some volatility going on here. So yeah. uh, strap in, diversify, look for all their assets. I like it. I like it. Good stuff. All right. So I'll, I'll talk a little bit about the, the opportunity that we live in, you know, just the, the fact that we're alive here in 2020, one of the best times to potentially start your own business or, you know, to just to be happy. If, if you're not happy in your business, if you're not happy in your career, your job, then make a change, do something different. There's, there's so much opportunity uh, that we have in this world of, you know, internet, social media apps, ways that you can make money. Uh, you know, there's flippers that are going to garage sales, flipping stuff to eBay, flipping stuff from Facebook marketplace. Think about about the opportunities that we have and and 
you know, really just focus on that. Think about the opportunity. And there's a lot of ways that you can grow and stop making excuses. You know, there's so many times you hear people making excuses. They don't have this. They don't have the resources. Well, you know, I would say it's resourcefulness. You know, you have to be resourceful in order to live the life that you want and build that legacy. And there's a lot of opportunities. So that's my you know, takeaway from today's show in 2020 uh, coming into 2020. It's, it's amazing to think about that, Doug. You know, here we are in 2020 already. It's unbelievable, isn't it? Yeah, it yeah really is. I mean, I it's 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 got a nice ring to it i'll say that it does it's got a good ring to it so bring it in the new that's year. it man there you go 2020 vision so hopefully all the listeners have a great year out there and putting a lot of these tips into place that's right take you know. tips and and make something happen you know make yeah. something happen We're seven to eleven if you don't like your job seven to eleven what are you doing what are you mm-hmm. doing during those hours right there that's when you can make your online your internet grow your celebrity grow your sphere whatever you want to try to sell online start a business lots of ways you can do it hey another great show i want to thank doug levi anthony ornella our whole pleasure. team behind the scenes putting it together all of our here. producers uh everybody making it happen here on the consumer quarterback show we want you to please go out there and consider committing a random act of kindness something as simple as packing up some food or clothing handed to that homeless person that you see in need be a force for good in the community follow us online at brandon rhymes one on instagram and twitter and the consumer quarterback show page on facebook we'll see you next time right here on the consumer quarterback show check out consumerqb.com you've been listening to the consumer quarterback brandon rhymes whether it's real estate consumer or financial advice let brandon call your next play contact brandon rhymes at 813-670-7372 that's 813- 813- 613-670-7372 online at consumerqb.com and join us next time for the Consumer Quarterback Show.